Good evening, sisters and brothers, to those who are here and those joining us via live stream. In today's readings, I would like to reflect on pagtitiis, pagtityaga. You know, I was having a casual conversation with yung kakilala ko, and uh, she is already advanced in age. May edad na po siya. And uh, one of the lessons I learned from her was when she said, Father, ang pagsisisi ko lang sa buhay ay eh yung sana pinagtyagaan ko na lang yung asawa ko. At tiniis ko na lang siya nung panahon na naglodo ko siya. Kasi alam ko mabait siya. Ang pagsisisi minsan, hindi ba yung mga pagkakataon na dapat may magandang magawa tayo pero hindi natin nagawa. Pero isa siguro sa mga pagsisising kadalasan hindi natin nagagawa na dapat magandang gawin natin ay yung pagtitiis sa mga taong mahal natin sa buhay. Kadalasan ang dami ang bilis nating bumigay. And I am saying this precisely because I can only imagine in the first reading of today we have heard the conversion of St. Paul. At alam natin kung paano nagtiis ang Diyos kay San Pablo bago siya naging santo at disipulo ni Kristo. In the first reading of the day, we know St. Paul was on his way to persecute the Christians. On his way, parang kumbaga sa mag-asawa, caught on the hack. Wala nang ibang way pa. Pero on his way to persecuting the Christian, there was a voice. And it was the voice of Jesus asking Paul, 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 why are you persecuting me? We know very well that St. Paul is persecuting the church, but Jesus identified himself with the church. Whatever you are doing to the church, you are doing it to me. And for Jesus, it could, it could have been very easy for him to eliminate St. Paul there and then when he was persecuting the church. Pero nagtyaga si Kristo kay St. Paul. And out of God's patience to St. Paul, we know conversion happened. And I think this is the real story behind people who are forbearing, enduring, and patient to their loved ones. There is no more powerful force than kindness, than gentleness, than patiently waiting for God to work and for people to change. People will not change by condemning them, by, con by us condemning them. People may change to be better when we show kindness to them in spite of their mistakes because the show of kindness becomes our power to reach the hearts of sinners like St. Paul. And I think that's the message of the gospel of today. When Jesus was saying to the Jews, my body is food that you need to eat and the Jews could not understand that how can he give us his flesh as food but there is another meaning of that we know very well that Jesus's body aside from the Eucharist which is true food is also the church the church is also a body of Christ and every time we receive the Eucharist we fall in line and receive the Eucharist. This is the body of Christ. When the priest would say the body of Christ and our response, Amen, 
is saying that, Lord, as I receive you, I will also be patient and bear the people you love, especially sinners. Including members of your church who are not very saintly. Including members of your church who annoy me, who hurt me. I will be patient to them. That is the testimony we are saying every time the priest says the body of Christ and we say, Amen. That is why a lot of the Jews could not take the body of Christ because it means being patient, being kind to people that they don't like. The woundedness of the church. Jesus is asking us, Ito yung katawang ko. This is my flesh. A wounded flesh. Part of that, yung mga kaaway mo, are you taking it? This is my body. And you can imagine kung gaano kapait lunukin ang kahinaan ng mga tao na nanakit sa atin. But when we say Amen, tiniti is natin sila. We do not tolerate them. Tiniti is natin sila. We become patient of to them, not because we want their mistakes to be prolonged. No, that's not the point. But it is because we love the body of Christ. We love Jesus. For the sake of our love to Jesus, I will endure the pain the hurt that my husband, that my wife, that my child is giving me. I will not give up. That is why whoever is patient to one another, whoever eats this flesh of Jesus, will never die. Yung mga taong nagtitiyaga, yung mga taong nagtitiis, Alang-alang sa pagmamahal nila kay Kristo ay hinding-hindi mararanasan ng kamataya. That's the beauty, that's the fruit of patience, of kindness, of gentleness. You know, I just came to visit a friend. At bago po ako nagpaalam sa tahanan nila, kasi ang ganda-ganda na talaga ng buhay niya, kumbaga the ideal life na wala ng pressure, ang saya-saya niya, very disciplined woman, at salungat sa aking disposition na ang dami-dami ko pang mga worries, anxieties, inaalala. Sabi ko, nakakaingit naman ang buhay mo. Parang ang sarap-sarap ng estado mo ngayon. Parang kailan kaya ako magkakaganyan? Ang sabi niya sa akin, Father, Bago ako nakarating dito, napakahabang tiyaga at pagtitiis ang dinanas ko. And that is why I think if there is another word for God, it is kindness, it is patience, endurance. You want a good life, you want a blessed life. Bear one another for the sake of your love for the body of Christ. Amen.